to work your butt off? Literally? Yes. <laughs> Welcome everybody. I'm Michelle LeMay with LeMay Chiropractic and Wellness. And we are here to work our butts off. I hope you are too. Because if you can hear us or uh, see us yeah, or something, give us the thumbs up so that we know that you are at least connecting with us and, and we're not just standing here and you can't see or hear us. So. Working out for, you know, just ourselves. Exactly, right. We're not just doing this for us, we are doing this for you. So I want to introduce my partner, husband. He is a chiropractor, applied clinical nutritionist, Dr. Mark LeMay. Well, thank you, Michelle. Welcome, Welcome everybody. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about Tabata. I know it sounds kind of like Chewbacca, but it's really Tabata. <laughs> It's, after, it's named after Professor Tabata in Japan. He, and back in 1996, he was helping the Japanese Olympic speed skating uh, professionals basically to increase their speed, their strength, their endurance. And he came up with what's called today high intensity interval training. So it was originally called Tabata. So you're going to actually get to do that with us today. And Michelle's going to show us a really cool app that you can get for free on your phone. Well, sure. You can get a lot of different apps, but the one that we discovered that's really fun is called Tabata. And I'm going to come forward. And hopefully you can see this pretty well. There's a paid version, of course, and there's all kinds of apps out there, but this is one of our favorites. So... This is what we're gonna be using today and I'm just gonna hit start our workout. But before we start, I'm gonna preview these and Dr. is gonna talk through the four different exercises that is gonna make up this routine that you can hopefully come back to again and again and again. And maybe even like three times a week would be maybe a three good- Three times a week is what they did in the study. So if you do this three times a week, this is gonna get you some great results in a very short period of time. So Michelle, Yes. You're going to be our banner for today. You're going to actually demonstrate the four moves we're going to do. So the four, the first one we're going to do right here is Michelle's going to demonstrate how to do squats. So Michelle, go ahead and show them how to do a squat. Okay, so I just have my feet shoulder width apart, and I'm just going to sit back. I'm going to stick my butt out just as if I were sitting in a chair. And I like to use my hands sort of in like a bicep curl type motion. You don't have to do anything with your hands if you don't want to, but that's just what come, comes naturally for me. So I'm going to sit way back and go down as low as I can, and then come back up. You don't want to do this fast. Thank you, dear. Um, you want to go nice and slow control because that's actually harder than going fast. And you Correct. also can avoid a lot of injuries if you go slow. Yeah, that's what I recommend you do. And then Michelle is going to turn sideways. You can see from the sideways view here, she can use a five pound kettlebell as some weight to increase that so you make it a little harder. So go ahead and show them how to do the squat this way now. So I'm just going to hold it, you know, with my arms relaxed, <clears throat> and again, I'm just going to sit back. Great, so that's the squat maneuver. Okay. Okay. And the next one she's going to show us how to do, this is the second one we're going to do, and that is going to be the push-up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so she's going to do a bent knee push-up. So this is a little bit easier. So you can, <clears throat> do, you can do a plank. That's the regular. That's kind of like the one you should, you know, be able to do at some point here, but... Right. Okay, so show how to just do a push-up. You're just going to be doing a bent knee push-up. Hopefully so, my back is straight. Yep, you're straight. So, yeah. So you're just going to do that for the 20 seconds that we'll be doing it. So we'll be doing 20 seconds on of the exercise with a 10-second rest. And that 10-second rest gives you a good time to be able to get to the next, you know, what we're going to do. So the next one she's going to do is what's called a bird dog. Mm -hmm. So what she's going to do is she's going to do the full bird dog right here. So I bring your knees like right underneath your hips. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then what she's going to do is opposite arm and leg. So I'm going to go just like this. And then the opposite. So just like a bird dog, pointing. Okay. So you're going to do that for the 20 seconds, and then we're going to do a 10 second rest, and we're going to go to the next one. Now, so they could just do your arms mm -hmm. if you're just trying to get used to this and have a challenge with balance, or you could just do, do your legs. legs. Which I'll, if I remember, I'll just. You're going to be do doing that on the, on the workout. Okay. I'll just be doing the leg, and he'll be doing the full one. And then the last one we're going to be doing here is called an air bike, or Michelle's also going to be doing what's called a Russian twist. So show them how to do the air bike first. Okay. That's the more difficult one. So hopefully so. you can see me okay here. So you're going to have your hands behind your head, elbows out, and you're going to be touching your elbow to the opposite knee. Up 
elbow to knee, elbow to knee, like that, back and forth, or as close as you can. Now, uh, if you want to make big steps, I mean, you can, this is, you know, your workout. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then Michelle's going to show how you do the Russian twist. I like and you're going to do it with your kettlebell. Well, Let's like show off. <laughs> okay, so she's going to do it with five pounds. pounds. It's not okay. showing off. Okay. okay, show how to do the Russian twist. So you're kind of at a whatever close to 90 degree angle. Close. I didn't get my protractor out before we started. Nope. So whatever it is, you can have your feet on the ground, or if you're really killer, you could be balancing up balance. like this. It makes my, it harder. I'm going to have my feet on the ground. Okay. And then you're going to twist all the way to one side and twist all the way to the other side. Touching the weight Just, to the ground. Again, slow is the way to go. I'm just doing a nice twisting motion like that. Great. You don't have to use a weight. You can just twist side to yeah, side and go in slow. You'll get a nice workout from that too. Okay, so are you ready to Tabata? Yes. Because now we're going to actually do it with the app and yes. everything. So you're going to get to see what this is like. Okay, right. so hopefully you can hear the uh, the drums and it's going to do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, and then we're going to go on to the next one. All right, you ready? So we're going to do okay, squats. Okay, you face down for the squats. I'm going to be sideways. Okay. All right, you ready, everybody? You ready? Got your yoga pants on? I hope so. I don't. Uh-oh. Okay. Ready? Yes. All right. Four, three, two, one.
like an Egyptian? <coughs> no. Take it. Starting to sweat a little bit here, I'm starting to breathe a little heavy. Yeah. It's great exercise, it really works well. And again, it's in a short period of time. So, just a quick thing if you are looking to do more self exercise wise, one thing that we do in our office is I do a lot of exercise consults with patients too. So, if you'd like to do a free 15 minute consult with me just to learn more about how to do more for you to get lose weight, do things like that, I'm happy to help. So, Michelle, yep. what's going on next week? What are we going to do next week? Well, I don't know if any of you have seen our little, oh. get some water. <laughs> yeah, so what are we doing next week? Um, so next week, uh, like I was saying, I don't know if anybody has seen our little preview. Um, we are going to be at the Roseville Galleria Mall Food Court, and we're going to answer the question, can you eat healthy while going out? Can you? find out next week. Stay tuned yeah. because next Tuesday at 2, Dr. Mark and I will be there and I hope you join us too. So yeah. let us know what you thought of today. Leave us a comment. Leave us a nice suggestion. Give us a thumbs up. Yes, please do. Maybe a, a wow face or a crazy face. Yeah, something. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yep, see you next time, gang. Bye. Bye.